That boils down to an 80-20 split. If this land is developed, the city would get 20% of the eventual profits over the land itself when it's sold. I also went through this report line by line and it outlines exactly what it's going to take to develop this land and turn this entire sprawling area into a one-of-a-kind destination for visitors and the residents of Jacksonville alike. The terms are set to transform Jacksonville's skyline at the shipyards. Shad Khan's Iguana Investments submitted this term sheet Monday to the Downtown Investment Authority. It's a major move by the local mogul that we were first to tell you about in an exclusive interview Super Bowl week. I think it uh, addresses um, all of the needs, uh, you know, provides the energy, the vitality in that area. The first order of business, this plant. Iguana contemplates acting as master developer of a mixed-use development on the shipyards. That includes public spaces, residential, retail, and the USS Adams mooring space and museum all shown in these renderings. We were just amazed at both his vision and grandeur for the city. Joe Snowberger is in charge of the Adams Museum. The shipyards would be an iconic representation and tell the rest of the world that Jacksonville is here on the scene. The city would be responsible for improving Bay Street and the areas surrounding the shipyards. The city would also be on the hook for up to $35 million for environmental cleanup. If costs go over that, Iguana can back out of the agreement. That could leave the project DOA like other shipyard projects in the past. But Khan told us revitalizing the shipyards is a priority for him. This time, you know, we want to get it done. Iguana Investments will meet with the city tomorrow one more time, including the city council tomorrow evening. And the mayor himself releasing a statement saying that revitalizing the shipyards is a priority for his administration. Reporting live from the shipyards, Cole Hees, CBS 47, Action News Jax.